now to an area known to flood when big storms move through. But when Hermine hit, even homeowners who were prepared say it just was not enough. News 6 reporter Nadine Yanis joins us now from Shell Point Beach in Wakulla County to show us what Hermine left behind. Well, most of the houses here at Shell Point Beach are on stilts raised several feet above ground. And for those who live in houses like this, many of them stayed and hunkered down for her mean. But it's the ones who live in low line houses like this that are prone to flooding that those residents say they're not taking any chances. And we tried to put get everything up off the ground that we could yesterday. Todd Thompson did everything he could ahead of Hermine. We got our couches up on blocks and stuff like that. Knowing that Hermine was going to bring this tornado warnings, howling winds and horizontal rains, not to mention a storm surge that flooded this entire beach town. The water was bad. We knew the water was going to come up, so we didn't know how far. But he saw how fast the water was coming up around 11 o'clock last night when he went back to his house to get his cats. At one point it came up a foot in 20 minutes. We were out there as well and watched as the water covered the roadways. So it was kind of like that's pretty scary when you see the water coming in that fast. And it did. Despite putting his belongings on blocks, the water rushed in and then back out, leaving water lines throughout his home today. You just know that the next day you're gonna have a big nasty cleanup and you know it's always bad when your house gets torn up. Yeah. So Thompson and other residents are working to get their lives back together after this storm. He tells me it could take weeks before he's even back in his home. In Wakulla County, Nadine Giannis, News 6.